Mickey, good to see you. Hey, so nice to meet you. I am honored. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Doctor. this is thank wonderful. Uh, I don't even know where to start with you, but uh, 50 years of uh, music, and uh, you just keep on going, and uh, now you're doing some art too, right? Yeah, I just can't stop, and you know, as long as they want to hear the music, I'll. I'll be there. Awesome. I want to yeah. talk about the music in a minute, but I want to talk about the artwork first of all, because I'm seeing, already seeing three different things, and I know you're um, very into um, the rhythmic painting, the rhythmic artwork. Can I say it's sonic driven, right? It is. Yeah, so tell us about well, it. Well, I mean, it's vibratory in nature. <laughs> After I, I uh, create these things, as I'm creating them, I vibrate them into existence, actually. You know, so. All the paints come up. Very percussive, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's all, yeah, all from the bottom, you know, I vibrate them. Well, and... explain that to me a little bit. You kind of feel it. Of course it is. Yeah. You, you got to feel it, just like music. This is kind of, you, you notice it's all about rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's all, it flows. It could be rivers, it could be anything. No beginnings, no endings. It's kind of like Grateful Dead music. We never did beginnings and endings very good, did we? Do you ever have a sense <laughs> when you get up and you? We weren't interested in the beginnings. Mickey, of the we've we've both seen you for a while, and uh, I tell you what, I think uh, the drum solo itself was the length of most concerts anymore. So you're right. I mean, it all flowed as an experience, not just a concert. Correct. Exactly. That's what it always was supposed to be. It's not like a concert. It's more like a, it, very much like an, it is an experience. That's a collective experience and gets you high. And uh, that's what it's all about. So when you're working on your art, do you have a theme in mind, or is it just what kind of comes to you? Well, I do. I have a theme in mind, and I approach the canvas or the plastic, uh, or plastic or the wood, with an idea, and then I think then I try to forget everything. You know, I just try to just it's a blank canvas. You want it different every time. There's no two canvases the same. So. It's improvisational, just like the music. Let's talk a little bit about some of these works, because the first one you described uh, in, I think, a perfect fashion. This is something a little bit more like we might assimilate with the dead. Well, I got. To, I don't know about this fascination I have with the skeletons here. I mean, it's, <laughs> everything is skulls and roses here. Right. But this is, of course, in the uh, framework of it's called a psycho pump, the guide of the soul, the other side, part skeleton, part part of the dead, part of the living. It has flesh on it. It has, I mean, muscle fiber, but it also is bone. So it's, it lives in both worlds. And is that, while we have the rib cage here, is this an extension as a xylophone? That's a xylophone out of the ribs. Uh, so it, it, these are, uh, they're called cycle pumps. I just love it. Tell me about the piece behind you here. Well, this is just uh, just part of this pouring medium. I don't use a brush. I did on that one. That was very early me. <laughs> I don't use brushes anymore. It's a pouring medium for all me. Right. And that's what this is all about. Love it. And then this looks like a little bit more of the literal standard because this appears to me to be an actual drum head. It is my drum head. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And so I, uh, and so I, I poured, poured uh, some paint on that and uh, kind of sculpted that. I think it's fantastic, and, and I, I hope everybody goes out and checks out your artwork. You're doing a couple of shows. We mentioned this uh, at, at the Wentworth Galleries in both uh, in Bethesda and also in, in uh, Tyson's Corner. But I want to talk about the music briefly, too. You're still going strong. Correct. 50 years since Woodstock, and now at Dead & Company, you're going back. I want to point this out. This was my uh, ticket stub. This is 1986, <laughs> Dylan and the Dead tour, Akron, Ohio. First oh, yeah. time that I saw you guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it really, it, it was that experience. I mean, obviously I was very young at the time, but it was the experience that lives on now. So for you, 50 years after Woodstock, did you imagine you'd be at this point where you're going back, you're still playing, you're still touring? Well, you can't imagine that far ahead and, and how what the Grateful Dead had become. I knew it was would be wall to wall when I was a kid when we first heard the music. It was so incredible. We thought, take this around the world, and uh, but you don't think that far ahead. You know, you're just trying to make ends meet. Actually, you know, you're just keeping your instruments. Uh, we, you know, it's hard to find work. Yeah. yeah. Are you excited to go back and play New York again, though, in that in the Woodstock area? Oh yeah. No, our, our performance of the first Woodstock was absolutely horrible. Uh, it was frightening, actually. So we're coming back uh, <laughs> to reprieve our, you know, to get a reprieve. Uh, <laughs> 50 years later, you we'll get a second we'll, chance. We'll do much better. You guys were partying time. a bit back in the day, so oh, we understand. It, it was awful. <laughs> I was awful. The stage was collapsing. The, uh, uh, everything was, and we froze uh, in front of 500,000 people. Uh, we just 
never could play the big ones, you know. And, uh -huh. and but this one will be fine because it's you know it's just a hundred thousand people. Right, just that. But the legend continues, and you can picture so many millions of people like this guy, a young version of him, in the Bay Area for all those dozens of shows out in the crowd I enjoying more your than music. One. I'm not gonna lie, maybe more <laughs> than a couple dozen. Mickey, it is a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so very much. Good luck with the career with Thank art. You. There's the information where you can go see him, and more importantly, check out the art on display. The info's on your screen right there. Catch and, you this uh, summer. I mean, thank you. If we can make up to New York, we're going to come see you. Oh, thanks All right? a lot. In the meantime, yeah. I know you guys are doing some other tours with John Mayer, too, which is very, very yeah. cool. All right.